Cat. It's Maximus here. This is a quick video about the Harbor Freight Gordon. <laughs> Easier to open. This is their emergent, automotive emergency rescue knife. Has a seatbelt cutter in it and a spike to break window. So in case you're in a serious accident or a water landing, that's the purpose of one of these. This so that you do not get trapped in the vehicle. You can cut your seatbelt free or cut uh, fabrics or anything that you may need get caught up on. And then if you have a with the seat belt being a little bit safer than the knife blade you can use just the seat belt cutter you can access it even when it's closed and you're supposed to be able to grab the seat belt and do something like hook onto it and that's one of the dullest ones this is hard cardboard pretty rigid material so, so this should be able to cut it reasonably well but unfortunately it jams up so you'll end up just having to use this uh, the blade anyway and then the pommels of course most vehicles now have electric windows so the nose can get faulty especially if you do a water landing so the idea is you just grab a hold of this and you hit it against the glass shattering the glass they want 15 bucks for this I think it's okay as far as the build quality a little cheesy they have this kind of weird pommel which is an insert into uh, it's captured by this metal plate here and then you do have a separate little piece which is the blade for the seatbelt cutter that Apparently it doesn't work at all. Two layers, so you have a liner and then you have this anodized aluminum outer body. Two screws for the belt clip. At least it can be reversed if you do want to actually wear this. One thing I think is hilarious is they have this folds easily. I just did a video about this little Gordon knife that was like uh, seven bucks or eight bucks and how you have to take it apart and bend this frame because it's impossible to open. I think it's kind of hilarious that this one that just came out actually says folds easily. And that is true. It's a more of a normal knife. You can use your thumb just to push over the liner. I should say, uses a Tonto tip. Pretty cheesy. As you can see, the grind is tapered along this edge. Just not a very good... And it doesn't have much of an edge on it anyway, you know. I don't know. That's not very sharp at all. We, you, you know, it's a cheap Chinese knife. As it appears to be brass shim washers, the blade appears to be reasonably tight, thumb stud ambidextrous. It attempts to have some jimping, which is like uh, knurling or corrugation so your finger doesn't slip on the top of the blade. The hilarity of how bad this is is that the frame actually rises up above that. So you'll never actually be able to get your fingers to engage that texturing there, the jimping, uh, which is pretty darn hilarious that they have that feature on there and it's physically useless i give this thing a pass to tell you the truth uh, i would get like one of these cheesy smith and wesson ones uh, or this i found it fast and all this is the rock river and this one's a much it just seems nicer it has this uh, you know these slight gray side plates kind of like the holes where you can put strings and stuff to uh to attach to it and the fact it's just a little bit more compact and the pommel is a hardened this uh, hardened steel wedge which seems to be more common and has a much different shape for the seat belt cutter if we try this seat belt cutter let's see if it does any better no not really to tell you the truth this one I think that's really the issue maybe when the fabric starts tearing it will kind of split across these but you'd think they'd you know just go right through the cardboard and this I think has a better blade shape certainly has a better sharpening but instead of that Tonto tip the problem with Tontos is of course the tip is really fine gets bent over damages damaged easily in this corner right here where they slant it upwards this is just done uh, because it's like pop manufacturers think Tonto tips are popular but they're really not that great of a tip or a blade shape because that lower corner just gets dulled all the time super easily and so you'd want to have something with more of a standard curve on it and then of course the smith and wesson i think this thing was like 15 bucks it has a much bigger blade it's also a tonto tip but it has like uh, a little bit nicer texturing on the side and the fact that it just has a bit more mass so if you're going to I mean, it has this big block of steel for the pommel. We'll give it seat belt cutter a shot, see if it works any better than the other two. 
it seems a little bit better. I'm going to have to get some seatbelt material to try these seatbelt cutters on, but it really seems that you're going to have trouble. You're going to be really yanking and kind of ripping back and forth to use these things on any of these knives, to tell you the truth, uh, just because of the way the material is going to want to kind of get bunched up in the frame of the knife. Uh, I don't know exactly how they could remedy that. It seems like a good idea, but um, seatbelt cutters... Uh, most times it seems that you'll try to use it and it won't be entirely successful. So you'll end up having to use the blade to get under the belt and then you can cut it super fast, the whole thing all at once. So anyway, enough to drive about that. Harbor Freight Gordon uh, Automotive Emergency Rescue Knife. I'd probably give this one a pass. Anyway, really appreciate everybody. Oh, I should mention at least they do say 8CR13 MOV is supposed to have a somewhat decent stainless steel blade so i guess if you love harbor freight then you know <laughs> go for it otherwise uh, i'd probably find a more maybe a little more expensive but a more effective emergency rescue knife anyway really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing if you, ha if you haven't subscribed please do till next time catus maximus out